Hello guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how to resolve your 403 error in your WordPress website. Uh, this kind of error show excels normally uh, some detect malware or virus uh, like uh, errors you can see your WordPress website. Okay, first we need to follow uh, these steps to resolve in your this error. First, uh, this one. You need to go your website root folder. Okay, now I show you how to go to root folder. First, go to your C panel, and after go to, to the so this is this is a file location. Click here the file manager. Okay, now this is your file manager, and please select which website you want to fix. Okay, I am select this uh, domain name and click here this is your uh, root this is your domain root now you can see all the file and uh, WPA admin WP content WP includes all file in here in your domain root okay now click here uh, uh, all the information I will attach the description so please follow this all the steps Okay, second, remove all file except WP content folder and WP configure PHP file CGL slash bin and WE double A now default folder. Uh, let me show, shouldn't be removed as well as. So, okay, uh, now we, re we remove to all files except WP, WP content folder and WP configure dot PHP. Okay, now select all select all this one you can uh, select all this click here and we don't remove WP content you can use your keyboard CTRL button for untick this one and WP configure PHP here this is one okay now others all the files we want to remove okay now you can remove all this file please double check it because very important this is very sensitive data from your website okay WP content let me check again WP content right and WP configure PHP okay WP content and WP config PHP right uh, now I'm delete button click here delete button and confirm right now you can see all the file delete but WP container WP configure PHP in save in this folder okay right now third step go to the sub collections and install new installation into the sub folder here this is a very important step I will show you how to do it and go to your C panel right now click your sub collection app installer right click here install or you can you click WordPress manager now I am click here install button right now you can select HTTPS or double slash without www dot now my website go to the www dot so I want to place HTTPS this is one and I want to select my uh, domain name my domain this is one rot rot in. okay this is very important part in directory section you want to uh, click test or fix and if you want to any like your word you can to replace this now I might try to test this one this is the latest version uh, PHP version okay right now you can do drop down and install button it will take three or four minutes for install okay now software was installed successfully right now we want to go C panel click here and again you go to the you will go to the file manager right select your domain root which you want to edit I am select this one now you can now you can see test folder already at right 
now click here double click and you say then you see these all the files uh, new files now installed in this test file right click here back and this you want to do wp content wp configure php okay right right first way, remove the wp content folder and wp configure file in new installation all right that's easy now click here test and this is new wp content file and wp configure php now you want to delete this file and click here delete confirm okay right now fifth move the file from the new subfolder installation for your website directory right okay now select all these files to move your domain directory and click here select all and move remember this you can this pop up this uh, menu and this is a test already these file uh, include the test folder but you want to go the main directly and backspace or delete this one and move files okay all files go to your main directly right now you click your back button now you can see all these that's the test files all move to the main directly right okay now you can see right okay last uh, one replace the ht access file with the default code this is a very important now okay i show you this is a 403 error right now i reshift this website that's it now you can see some all the website now in great that is uh, awesome here this is the um, solution for your 403 error now that's not uh, exist now you want to uh, replace this ST accessor file with the default code this is a default code right this is a default dash beginning wordpress and end uh, wordpress now I want to click and copy right I want to uh, search this is this is a, this is the file HD access now in edit click here and edit button again new window open now you see this is a where well default setting now I want to uh, remove this whole one and paste here and uh, right again I would just copy because I want to back up this one right now I am in the copy this one okay now save changes all right you can close this button now reach up your website here you can see this website it work smoothly right that's this guy this is the uh, solution this is a very easy way to a uh, fig 403 error from your wordpress website sometime your website show uh, any errors or some uh, sometimes sometimes show you some plugin disabled or some some plugin errors uh, that is the case you can to select wp content and go to the plugins and you can disable any plugin and after you can reach up your website you can to uh, get back it normally okay right that's it that's it how you were um, website normally back again right thank you good luck if you have any question please drop down any comment section and i can do ask us this one and thank you good luck